Hey guys, it is Doug here, and welcome back to yet another PlayStation VR World Experience. Yet our well, second to last one, and we're gonna be looking at VR Luge today. Not my most favorite one, but you know, I've gotta showcase it. Let's jump in. Alrighty guys, here we are at VR Luge. So this is like, if you don't know what the like Luge is, if you haven't watched Olympics or anything like that, basically. Um, kind of like that, <laughs> except for like non-snow. Uh, this is just down the street and you have to avoid traffic. I'm not am particularly amazing at this one, nor is it my favorite, but you know, figured we'd give it a shot again. Maybe I just, you know, ch you'll change my mind, but let's give it a shot. Alright guys, here's our first one, Devil's Dash. Probably gonna die a lot, so be prepared to watch me restart a whole bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's such tiny adjustments you need to like make to steer this thing properly. I just uh, I don't like it. If it was a little bit harder to steer, I would probably like it a lot better. This is pretty intense, and uh, some people can experience some motion sickness on here. Just heads up. Let's see, look at that. I bounced off the wall already. Probably just need some practice. That's all. I'll just give myself too much grief. Oh. oh yeah, this is not quite as intuitive as it. Uh, the other games I play in VR definitely requires some effort to like get used to. Because like I said, it's quite sensitive to like your motion. Like you can tell you had just a little um Ooh, yeah, like that when you take get some air, you can feel it. Or you get going really quick like this, oh my god. You definitely feel like you're up there. This one can be a little bit more uh, <clears throat> motion sick than others. But yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think of this. If you think you'd like it or not. Show it out in the comments down below. I think I'm getting a little bit better. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see some other content. Make sure to sub, I will put on some other stuff as well. This is kind of like one of the more mini experiences and one of the other experiences I've had at least 20 minutes, so... Let me know, well, let me know what the watch duration you, you guys like better. You like the 10 minutes stuff, or you did it for 20 minutes, or what's, what do you think? You know, that's what I'm at. I'm entertaining you guys, and let me know which you guys like. That's really unique. I'm not feeling super hot. <laughs> Back on the wall is like freaking calm. It's like a danger ball. Oh man, and it's right there's lots of traffic. Those jumps are really crap. Seriously, that you feel really weird. Especially when you get really going fast. Ninety six, ninety five. Sometimes I forget. 
Those two cards right there freaked me out. <laughs> Three of four, construction dash. Is it just like the same thing being gradually harder? <laughs> Several tracks on one now, I guess. What are with those beaver balloons? And there's, there's a cool shark sign. I know there's like uh, a couple of roller coaster VR experiences in the street too, like really crazy. Oh, here's the turn. Oh, I was supposed to go straight. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> Drop those pipes on there, aren't you? What kind of room goes like this? Crazy. Must have some really good wheels on this thing. I can go off and on road. At 112 miles an hour. for watching. You can let me know if you liked it. Suge suggest other things down there. Subscribe for more VR content. Like I said, not my really favorite one. I don't want to do too much more detail than that. Um, let me know if you want to see more. I will do it if you want. Um, but this is not my particular favorite. There's still one more experience yet. Uh, we have to go, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah.